Hi. How are you guys doing? You staying warm? That's good. You got hats on and everything. You guys must not be from Wisconsin. <laughs> We've got some visitors with us today, don't we? Okay, let me make sure we know who everybody is who's here today. We've got students from the Washburn Elementary School in Washburn, Wisconsin. Woo woo, yay! Is it cold to you guys today? A bit. That's how the Wisconsin folks feel. We've got Arthur Ashe Charter School from New Orleans, Louisiana. That's you guys, right? Yes. Welcome. We've got Kemper Elementary School from Cortez, Colorado. It's not cold to you guys, is it? Nah. And then we have our regular students from Bancroft Elementary School from right here in Washington, D.C and from Tubman Elementary School as well, from right here in our own backyard. Tubman and Bancroft schools have been helping me plant uh, the White House kitchen garden for uh, just about eight years. So this is a very special planting. Do you guys have any idea why it's so special for me in particular? Why? Well, this will be the last White House kitchen garden planting for me in this administration. Yeah, it was eight years ago that we cooked up this really interesting idea that maybe we could dig up some dirt on the South Lawn, let them do that, let, maybe somebody would let us do that, and we would plant a wonderful garden that would be uh, a, 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 a space for us to talk about the food we eat. And it was always the, the idea that we would have kids very involved in everything that we do. So young people from uh, Tubman and Bancroft and schools from around the country, they come every planting and every harvest and they help us put, the, put, put our vegetables in and take them out in the fall. And it's been really a fun tradition for us here at the White House because I think we've really been able to change the conversation about what you guys eat because our, our thought was that if you know where your food comes from, you might be a little more interested in eating your vegetables if you know what they look like. But the garden has become so much more than that. It's a place where our staff comes to volunteer. People from around the White House come, they help out. We've produced thousands of pounds of food every year that we give to homeless shelters in the area. Uh, we've gotten organizations involved. This year we have folks from NASA here. We're our NASA people. We got the, the space people here. Because in addition to being a really important resource for us, the White House Kitchen Garden has really begun a, a conversation around the country about community gardens. And we've seen an increase in the number of uh, folks that are planting community gardens in their neighborhoods. They're even doing some community gardening in space, as we understand, which takes the concept to a whole nother level. Uh, so the folks from NASA are going to help us plant, but we understand that there's some gardening going on up in the space station right now, and we may be doing some sister planting going on here, so we're very excited to have you all here. Thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for being here. And in an honor of the last planting, um, we're going to be talking about community gardens all over the country. We're going to talk about this growth in community garden. And I'm going to be doing some surprise visits uh, to community gardens around the nation. On Thursday, we're setting out to do some surprise visits in a couple of states in, 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 in our country. We did a few surprise visits here just a, a few weeks ago. Um, surprised a couple of schools that have some phenomenal school gardens as well as uh, some community farmers. So we're going to be doing that just to continue to raise awareness to talk about our successes and to hopefully uh, create healthier food and healthier lives for these kids. It's all about you guys, right? Yay for you. <laughs> but I want to take this time to thank all the kids here and all the kids around the country who've been a part of, of this garden. This is my baby. And hopefully this will not be the last planting. Hopefully there will be 
other administrations who come in and they take up this project and continue to make this uh, a part of the White House tradition. But in honor of those kids who have helped out, we've invited some special guests back. We have some of the kids who initially helped us plant the first garden. <laughs> you guys were in fifth grade. All right, where are you? And you are now in high school. And you look different. <laughs> you have grown up. But all of you guys were here with me, and I, I kind of remember a couple of faces. You guys are like grown up. But I'm just happy you guys are coming back to help us do the last planting. You guys started with us, and you're ending with us. I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you for being here today, and you, you guys are pros now. We've come full circle. So this is a great day, even though it's freezing cold to some particularly those in D.C. as a Chicagoan. This is kind of a nice day. <laughs> um, but let's get to work. I hear you guys have your assignments. Are we ready to go? Yeah! All right, let's move. Let's plant. Let's get it done. All right. Who are my volunteers? Who's with me? You Now you can also, I've got gloves, but you can also use your hands. Yeah. Oh, I'll do my hands You want to get hands straight? All right. Have you guys done any planting before? I have been planting. So you know how to do this, right? Yes. So why don't we do, if you start doing some of those up there, I'll get the back row. Okay. Okay? Does that sound good? We can just break this down. Oh. I'll get you some water. So how was the trip here? When did you guys get yeah. here? Um, we came on Sunday. Uh-huh. Have you been able to spend some time in D.C. or did you come yes. right here? Yes. Spent plenty of time. What, did, what else have you been doing since you've been here? Um, we went up to the top of the Washington Monument. Oh, how was that? It was fun. Very, very pretty. I really like it. It's here. a beautiful view, isn't it? Yes. What about you? When, when did you guys get here? Oh, yesterday, last night, we had to go from Atlanta to uh -huh. Washington. Did you take a plane? Did you drop, Did you ride a bus? It's a plane. Yeah? How was that? Was that your, have you been on a plane before? No, that was the first time. How was it? It was fun, but it was kind of terrified when it had lift off. Was it a little bit? <laughs> now, one thing to do is break it up a little bit before you put it in. It doesn't, it's, it's okay if it's not but it helps to, for the roots to spread out if you break it up a little bit. Miles, what about you? What have you guys, and what have you all been doing since you got here? 